everybody, Manfro here. Welcome to the weekly update video for RS3. Now this week we see a uh, Housing of Parliament quest and um, updates. So, uh, there is a new types of gemstone, uh, if you are not familiar. Uh, but if you're successful tidying up around the quiet corner around town, uh, there is the new type gemstone which you can find. There's also going to be other ways to get it as well. Um, but yeah. So that is absolutely fantastic. It is the, since it's not actually showing here, we'll go into this part. Uh, but it is the Moonstone Jewelry. Uh, so this is actually has some pretty cool stuff. It's a requiring a 67 to craft and cut in Moonstone. Uh, and this level grows and you'll be able to add uh, more things like the rings, necklace, amulets, bracelets, etc, etc. Uh, first up, though, is the Conjurer's Raising Amulet, which is, does a necromancy damage bonus of 44, increase the base, basic attack damage of your Conjured Spirits by 5%, which is pretty nice. Uh, wearing the Passive Bracelet, oh, Passing Bracelet, uh, provides teleports to various parts of the City of Um. Ring of Imbuing grants 10% additional runes when runecrafting. Now, I don't know if this means... Uh, room crafting in general or if it means just within the city so hopefully there is more information about that there's also the alteration necklace which increases the power of alteration glyphs by 20 percent during necromancy rituals now during this quest you also get stuff like protection glyphs uh, so there's stuff to keep out there's also speak to thalmond uh, you can also look for uh, Miso, nine lives, two skins. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with these guys as well. Uh, it's just not just the uh, housing of Parliament. Uh, but then to top it all off, we also have a double XP live. So if you're not familiar, this is double XP it used to be double XP weekend. It's now live. So it's a 10 day event where you can pause and start at any point in time whenever you go to log in. Uh, you have a total of 48 hours that you are allowed to use, uh, but once your 48 hours are up, you no longer get double XP. And of course, Invention is one of them that is a little bit differently, uh, well, obtained a little differently, so keep that in mind. Uh, but otherwise, just go nuts, go have fun. Uh, there is double XP tokens uh, this time around, and you can get them for double XP spirits which spawn intermittently while you're skilling or using the proteans or dummies, uh, etc, etc. So do check that out as well. And speaking of those double XP tokens, we got the double XP marketplace bundle. Uh, this both bundles are available from the 16th to the February 26th. And I should mention um, the double XP live comes out this Friday. So it'll be coming out Friday, February 16th until Monday, February 26th, and it'll be starting ending at 1200 PF game time. But these double XP bundles, there's two different variants and they are purchasable throughout the entire event. Uh, item bundle one bond is purchasable once through the marketplace and this contains, uh, and this is the item bundle one bond. Uh, this contains the five medium protean pla uh, packs, five large prismatic stars, 25 protean prolongers, 25 protean power-ups, five medium skilled dummy crates, 25 pulse cores, 25 center cores, 250 silver hawk downs, untradeable, 250 tight springs, untradeable, and a bonus of 5,000 double XP tokens. Now there is a double XP daily bundle uh, that is one bond, uh, one bond, uh, awards a daily bundle of items every day for 10 days. So you can actually purchase this if you so desire. Uh, but this will give you two keys, one medium protean pack, one large prismatic star, one medium skill uh, dummy crate, 10 pulse cores, 10 cinder cores, 50 tight springs untradeable, 50 silver hawk down untradeable, and 1,000 double XP tokens uh, available daily throughout the event. So each bundle can be purchased once and neither are available on the Ironman accounts. Now keep in mind uh, the rewards that I just said about uh, with the two keys and stuff like that, that is going to be throughout the entire each day. So you do get a pretty good um, amount of stuff for that. 
There is a live stream calendar, so this is uh, going to be Tuesday, February 13th at 1700 game time. The Tangle Web of Quest Requirements. So they're going to be uh, going through that and dissecting it, because if you remember, Mod Stew will be talking to Mod Doom uh, throughout the upcoming refinements, because this was, I believe, part of the um, Passion Projects, if you will. Treasure Hunter Calendar. Uh, so starting February 15th and ending February 21st is the Foresight to Train. Uh, so double XP daily reward bonus. So hop into the Treasure Hunter double XP live benefit uh, from the new daily reward track. Uh, each day there will be a bonus reward available, which you can unlock by using the amount of keys in the meter. Uh, these bonus rewards will be available until midnight GMT each day and your pro progress uh, will reset when the next reward becomes available. Uh, this will happen either automatically at midnight or if you're already logged in the next time you refresh by your lobby, changing worlds, etc. Uh, the daily reward bonus will be available throughout the duration of Double XP Live. I'm going to say it's going to be at least probably, you know, four keys uh, per thing. Necromancy, uh, this is into the patch notes now. Necromancy, they added the Housing Parliament quest. The quest can be found under the City of Om Sirius within the quest interface. Added a new ghost appearance for the Miso pet, or Miso, uh, available after defeating Raziel 1,000 times. Appearance will be unlocked uh, on login if you already have Bed to Kill requirement. Falcon, the traveling merchant, will now visit the City of Um. Uh, just outside the smithy on Wednesday, be sure to speak to him each week for some traveler's tales. Talman stock includes a handful of insold items. <clears throat> Updated the effects of the protection glyphs from the City of Um ritual site. Uh, protection 1 went with disturbances by 20%, increasing the soul attraction by 20%. Uh, protection 2 increases the duration of the ritual disturbances by 40% and increases the soul attraction by 40%. Uh, protection three increases the duration of the ritual of the services by 60% and increases soul attraction by 60%. There's also the added moonstone gems that are found during the rituals and are used to craft a new moonstone jewelry. Uh, Khan and Onyx will now give 180 XP up from 167.5 because this is now consistent with the XP and requirements for other gems. Rebalance several low-level monsters that were harder to kill than attended. For example, Tarasman changed to melee monsters. Uh, their HP went from 9,850 to 4,200. Max hit went from 1140 to 960. Updated Ed Boat Tours within the city of Um. Uh, there was instances with Raziel Citadel could be clipped out of sight. Uh, this has been fixed. Change some of the coordination or well, coordinates during the tour to avoid clipping and unnecessary travel. If you already completed the tour once, doing another tour will now present you with three questions you can ask Ed at the end. On Valentine's, the devotion sprites found their way back into Gilinor, added a lovely gift box to NPC Rosie for the current event, and then we head into General, which the benefits tab now appears correctly in the marketplace uh, interface. Necromancy boost you get from Deathmatch Supreme Overload Salve will now be removed when leaving the area of the minigame. The uh, Dominion Medallion boost for Necromancy will be now be removed instantly whenever it's unequipped. Uh, using the Captain's Log with a fixed camera angle on the Ritual site will no longer break the fixed camera. Hazil's Dialogue uh, now uses the correct chat head. Uh, fix a typo and examine text on the bookcase in the city of Um. The scaling option for the now scales only interface for new players if the scaling options were changed before starting a new character. The Revenant Drop Enhancer will be directly added to the currency pouch when bought uh, from the Deathmatch Reward Shop. Players can no longer teleport into Menopos from tablets without completing the Jack of Spades quest. Equipping the Ghoul Invoker Gloves will no longer equip Ghoul Invoker Boots. Uh, fix an issue that caused the Soul Reaver Skeleton Override to appear without wielding a sword. Uh, the lighting outside Falador is now appropriate for the area. Then we headed in the Community Showcase, which up first we have a nice panda here, if you can guess it, good job. 
but this is by Somewhat Stale Goat. And yes, that is Ghost Speak Amulet, for those who are wondering. <laughs> and then, uh, 1 to 99 Artscape. It's a very uh, Cthulhu esque uh, type design here going on. Really cool. And then Quadri is actually showing us a little bit of the Majorette for the Wild Gothic Sleeps making its way into OSRS. And to celebrate the Iconic West, they did a little artwork here, which is pretty awesome, actually. Uh, Scaper screenshots, we read Panda celebrating the year of the dragon. Uh, the dragon. Pretty awesome. Uh, Demon Hedge is just checking out all the sites here in Port Serum. And Elish is uh, checking out the new sites in Kandrin, so do check those out if you haven't already. And then we go into the Pink Skirt Player events, which we have the Penguin Tour, hosted by Miss Misty. This will be Wednesday, February 14th at 2000 game time, World 60, Edgeville Bank, and the FC is Miss Misty. Now we have a Mega Duck Hunt, hosted by Steve2058, Mega Duck, and Icy Love. This will be Fridays, uh, February 16th at 1900 game time, World 39, Falador Park, and the FC is Megaduck. And the community spotlight this week is the Screen Escape, so get out there, get some uh, different types of screenshots throughout the, well, Brewscape. <laughs> uh, but that's actually it, though, for this, guys. Uh, pretty interesting week, so thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later, guys. Thank you.